Hi, I'm Matt. You may be wondering why I'm shifting nervously. I'm about to realize a childhood dream of being mowed down by a machine gun. It all started when I was around 10 years old and I saw my first theme park stunt show. I was so fascinated by the fact that nobody got hurt and none of it was real. Right around that time, just as I entered my awkward years, I got my first Super 8 film camera and started making some movies with my friends. These are my buddies, Jeff Davis and Terry Washington. And my little brother, Carrie, yielding a weapon. It was the 80s. Before long, I was incorporating my own homemade special effects into these films and began testing my pyrotechnics on poor stuffed animals. Specifically this one. I think his name was Thumper. But the ultimate goal for me was to figure out how to realistically simulate a bullet hit like they did in the movies. That would require making a squib. As my meticulously rendered diagram from the time illustrates, a squib is a little explosive charge that goes under a small bag of blood that is then placed on your body and electronically ignited. In a brilliant move, I tried it on myself first. It was a great success. But I've always wanted to go the distance and experience a professional squibbing, which brings me here, nervously awaiting my own fake demise. This is special correspondent for I Was There Too, Mark McConville, coming to you live from Brooklyn, New York. We are here at j and Special Effects. Matt, tell us why we're here. I'm here to um, realize a lifelong dream of mine, which is to be fully machine gun squibbed. Goodbye. This is what we call a blood hit, and it has, in fact, a squib in it. It's leather. There is a brass insert that has a well inside of it. And in that is a pyrotechnic device. That is our squib. And then on top of that is a blood bag, and then a whole lot of gaff tape. So you're squibbing human beings <laughs> if you were going to do a bullet hole in a wall. Oh, okay. One way to do it is with a paintball gun. So it hits and it creates a spark. But we also will route out a wall and fill it with squibs and then just paste over it. Now, for my money, that's the only way to go because as a squib connoisseur, I can tell when the paintball effect is being used because like, if they're running and paintball Fuller's Earth ones are going off on the ground, they're hitting at a different angle than the bullet squibs because squibs always kind of go directly out and the, those ground ones when they shoot oh, them they kind of they ricochet, ricochet their blast a little bit and I'm always like <laughs> air squib nope CG squib give me the pyrotechnic and that's why we're here today let's continue the first step is we are going to attach this to your body um, for that, I need you to remove your shirt, please. You got it. And All you have to do is ask. What? <laughs> Explain again what you described the pain feeling like. I remember this feeling probably best from elementary school. The bully in my class would make this kind of fist. A noogie. Yeah, one with like a, a knuckle with fist. a knuckle really out there. Yeah. yeah. And um, and then imagine that bully being now a full grown man. And yet, I'm somehow not really nervous yet. I think I will be right at the moment, but... Andrew, should Matt be nervous? <laughs> Only if pain makes him nervous. Okay. So this is the receiver, and you see that it's got a couple of switches here. One is on, and one is from safe to arm. So the first thing I'll do is I'll attach this and, all right, then you're gonna get shot. Let's do it. The system is on and the system is on. On and armed. So this is a hot set. Firing in three, two, one. <laughs> well, you know, that's... I know your pain. I know your pain, right? The system is armed. Okay. All right. This is way more scarier because I don't know if it's going to go. <laughs> the anticipation that is the worst. It's Hitchcock was right. Firing in three, two, one. <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you guys plan this? Firing in three, two, one. I hate to think it's something I've done. Firing in three, two, one. It was like, like a shockwave or like a pressure blast. Like I don't feel like a sharp thing. I just felt like a, th a flat thud. That was amazing. How did that, that look? Looks, I mean, from oh, my that perspective. That blew it well. That one felt, you sure that wasn't a C120 was, or whatever it is? <laughs> <laughs> look at that viscera. Look at that. Okay, so how do you feel? I feel good. I think I can move on to four. We're going to do four? We're going to do four. <laughs> if, you're, if you're comfortable with it, we'll do four. Absolutely. I can't wait. Let's do this. Great. Then I'm going to make everything safe, okay. disconnect you, and we'll be ready to move on. So we'll place, I guess, number one. We'll get it as low as possible to make sure that we can actually fit all four. We may have to stagger. Yeah, whatever. You're the boss. You're the artist. I'm your canvas. We got squib number two. This looks like three and four. Let's talk about some of my favorite squib moments Let's talk film. about some of your favorite okay. squib moments. The classics are, of course, Sonny Corleone in The Godfather. Yes. Riddled by Tommy gun bullets. Yeah. Those are forty-five caliber, I believe. I mean, you would just be eviscerated. But speaking of that, Kevin W. Page in Robocop, shot by Ed 209, he gets eviscerated. What do we think, Andrew? How does this stack up? It's going to be bloody. It's going to be gory and it's probably gonna hurt. I'm excited. I feel like it's firm. It's not too constricting. I feel mobile. I feel like I could act in this if this was in a movie, like I'd be ready to go. And I just am not gonna think about the pain until it happens, so. I just got nervous. <laughs> just now? Yeah. Why did the, why does the holes in the shirt make you nervous? Because it's, it's, well, it's, yeah, and the reality of this is gonna happen. Matt, you've just been squibbed moments ago. Did it hurt? That was the big concern. It didn't hurt. And I don't know if I'm just in shock or what, because it just happened. I still don't... Wait, hold on. <laughs> I do feel a little pain. <laughs> like, I must have not felt it in the moment because of adrenaline, but it was exhilarating. I have to say, I'd want to do it again because now that the, you know, the first time's done, I feel like I really enjoy it. Dr. Leffingwell. Oh, I have the guts all right. They start in my tummy and go all the way up to my fingertips for squeezing twiggers. Then we'll see your guts. Like inside of them. Guts all around. Goodbye. I barely felt a thing. I knew the shock, that felt great. <laughs> <laughs>